So, how many people in here like basketball besides me and Paul? Okay, um, how many people know how to shoot basketball like the proper way? Anybody like to demonstrate? Like a. <laughs> All right, so um, I lost one of my cards. But today I'm going to inform you on a proper way to shoot a basketball. Um, there's three important aspects that go into this process. One is the stance, um, one is shooting pocket, and last but not least, the follow through. First things first, the stance. Um, the most important thing is positioning. Um, your foot positioning for shooting the ball is your foundation, and it should be the same for all of your shots, whether it's a fadeaway, um, a three-pointer free throw, it should all be the same. Um, your feet should be shorter width apart, and you should have your dominant side um, slightly ahead of you so for example, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to have my right foot in front of my left foot slightly. Um, you should have great balance and your eyes should be looking at the basket while your elbows are bent. So your elbows should be bent at a 90 degree angle. So like this, your knees should be slightly bent like this. Your eyes should be looking at the basket. Um, Think about the acronym BEEF. Um, body balance, elbows in, eyes on the target, and follow through. So, like I said before, balance is key, it's important, and also to have your elbow in. Um, you don't want to be shooting the ball like this, or like this, like you want your elbow straight. Um, eyes on the target, the basket, and uh, most importantly, your follow through. Um, you're supposed to be shooting the ball from your shot pocket, which is located on your side. So like I said, if you're right-handed, it'll be on your right side. So like this would be my shooting pocket. Um, it's a few inches right above your waist. Holding the ball too high or too low could affect the accuracy of your shot. So you don't want to, you don't want to be holding the ball all the way down here. You don't want to be holding it all the way up here. So like kind of in the middle. Um, position your elbow so that it's right under the ball, and not cocked to the side, like I mentioned before. You don't want it right here, or right here, you just want it in the middle. This is probably the most important part to the whole shot, um, the follow through. By holding your follow through, you are ingraining it into your muscle memory, making the mechanics come naturally without conscious thought. So if you do the same thing over and over, like one time I'm not gonna shoot like this, another time I'm not gonna shoot like this, another time I'm not gonna shoot like this. Like I'm gonna hold my follower to make sure that my arm's straight. Like Kobe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um by following through you're teaching yourself to be consistent. So um like I said before, you're not inconsistent like one time you shoot like this another time you shoot like this you don't hold your follow through um if you don't follow through your shot isn't guaranteed to go every time go in every time whereas if you do follow through you can most likely tell if your shot will go in or not if that makes sense so um today i attempted to inform you on how to correctly and effectively shoot a basketball. Um, I discussed these three main points, the stance, the shooting pocket, and the follow through. And uh, hopefully I successfully informed you with this information and now you have a better understanding on how to shoot basketball. So next time go to rec or something like that, uh, you may be able to shoot a little better. No offense to me, <laughs> But uh, thank you.